My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. And I'm gonna give you this random video because I there's a lot of things that need to be said in the world and a lot of people aren't brave enough to say them. And so I'm gonna make this abundantly clear as I like my joy to make this report. I just had a little incident. So before I shot the second video, you know, I was kind of upset about a lot of things. And you know, there are things that, that were said to me that, correctly so, should not have been said to me. And there are things that I said to people that should not have been said by me. But it has been done. I own it. I'm not going to apologize for it. You know, I'm going to own it and I'm going to live with it when this comes. And, you know, I will tell you the things that were said, they weren't exactly hurtful. But they weren't exactly right. I miss my dad. My dad is gone. And this conversation that I had, it was an argument basically about me missing my mom when she is gone. I love my mom, don't get me wrong. But most of the time when people assume you are stupid and call you stupid every day after day after motherfucking day, you're not really going to miss that. You know, people tend to tell you how you going to feel. No one can tell you how you are going to feel because no one walks a mile in your shoes. Now, most life of experiences are fairly close to the same. They're very close to the same. You know, everybody feels emotions. But how you feel your emotion is a different from the person standing next to you. When I feel rage, I got a little squiggly line sometimes. My fists literally feel like they're on fire. That could be from Kung Fu. That could be from anything. It could be a fucking disease. But when I feel rage, it's like my hands, like I dipped them in a lit fucking thing of gasoline and then someone threw the match and Dragon Ball Z that shit. Now, I've only felt that a few times in my life. You know, and most of the times it's happened when my life has been in like danger, when I'm getting ready to fight someone. It's like, um... You know, your foot feels when it's asleep, and that's how it feels on the inside. But the outside feels like it's on fire. Now, a lot of people have different ways of manifesting their chi power. For those who are martial artists, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I was feeling that a few minutes ago. You know, and, you know, it, it's not polite to beat the hell out of people just because you can. But, you know, for, for more than 40 plus years, you know, I have been through a lot of shit. And my rock was my father. No, my mom and I will never see eye to eye. I will not probably miss her half as much as I miss my father. Now, I'm not rushing my mom off into the afterlife. No, I'm not. But when it comes to that, we, we have a, a, a problem between the two of us about her and ownership you know, and ownership is important to me, you know, because I'm going to tell you, like I tell everybody else, I tell this to people I meet, if I don't like you, I'm not going to lie to your face, I'm not, I'm going to straight up tell you the goddamn truth, I don't fucking like you, if we have to work together and I don't like you, I'm going to let you know from the jump, look, while we at work, it's cool, it's cool as hell. I don't like you, you don't like me, I can't afford to lose my job. So I'm going to work and I'm going to treat you with respect. But when you see me in the streets, the best advice I can give you is to not get in striking distance. And that's just me being real. Because some people you can work with because you don't have a choice and you can't afford to lose your job. So you have to do that. You got to brown nose a little bit. Rather we like it or not, unless you are your own boss... You will brown those. You will follow the orders given until you can find a better job with people who aren't as much of a dick than people who are. Now, whether you want to accept that or not, that's a whole other ball game. But, you know, money makes people stay. And the need for money makes people accept. I have worked with plenty of people, uh, plenty of jobs that I can't stand. Honestly, truly to God, that I could not stand. That I was so much if I could catch them by themselves. And this was when I was working at Browns. If I could have caught a, a certain amount of salesmen and sales managers by themselves. Oh God, man. 
and like not on the job, but somewhere where no one could see me beat their ass. Oh God, yeah, their asses would have been beaten. Their asses would have been beaten without a second thought. If I could like catch one of them on the Monticello Trail, like, oh yeah, you, you're a badass while we at work, you know, because you're in management, you know. Now you ain't at work. Let's see you talk your shit now. No, people are different when they meet you in a different environment. That's something you have to remember. It's the same thing with bullies in school. When people meet you in a different environment, now the shit is changed when they ain't got no backup. Well, here's my thing. I've never had backup. These bitches right here is all I will ever need. And I know how to use them very well. So it's not a big deal if we bump into each other in the street unless I'm not in a fighting mood. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm always in a fighting mood. I don't want to hurt anybody, but I'm not going to sit there and let you hurt me. It's just that simple. And the thing is, you know, I try to find peaceful solutions because as a martial artist, we are taught the way of the warrior is to not fight until someone engages you. Now, in real life, when you leave that dojo, depending on where you live, most people aren't going to engage you. And then you have to come to people like me who live in hardcore neighborhoods where someone's always trying to engage you. So in that moment, things happen. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. No one wants to lose a parent. No one. No one at all. I wouldn't wish this pain on anyone. But in the event, you know, you have to understand what a person's been through if they don't mourn for what they have lost. Your parents are your greatest treasures, even when they treat you like shit. I'm living proof of that because it's always been that way with me. One parent has always treated me better than the other, and that's just a fact. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean I love one parent less, it just means that there is a level that should have been addressed a long time ago that never got addressed. And, you know, it just kind of got addressed when I, before I made the second video, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on this because in case I pass before she pass, you know, it, it's, it's the principle of how you treat your children, you know. And if you treat your child like dog shit every day, all day, the child's not really going to be too worried about you when you get them. I've had this argument with other people. I've had this argument with my own mom itself. And I told her, you know, you ain't got to answer to me. I'm not God. But you will answer to an angry God when you get where you're going. We all are going to answer to God on some small level or another. Whether we like it or not, we are all going to answer to him. Now, I'm not a nice guy. I'm not by any means a saint. I'm not the most evilest person. I walk that thin gray line between right and wrong every day. I try to stray more to the right thing. But sometimes you have to do the wrong thing to accomplish the right thing. And yes, that did come from the original Ninja Turtles cartoon from 1982, 89, 80, whenever the hell it came out. Because Leonardo said it to the other three turtles once to um, make a point. And he said, this is probably something Master Splinter would say. And Raphael gave him that, yeah, right look. But anyway. Moving on, but it, I have learned that art does imitate life, and it is true. Sometimes you do have to do a little bit of evil to accomplish an ass load of good. Is that the right thing to do? Maybe at the time. Now, the thing is, you know, in life, we don't always have that one straight rocket line to where we want to be in life. We don't have that one person that we can go to, and if you do, count your blessings. And when that one person you go to is gone from you, and you have nothing else to turn to. And you can't talk to other people because they don't give a flying fuck about you. They don't want to hear what you have to say. Then you'll see where I'm coming from. It's different when you got some people that you can go to no matter what. Sometimes your friends are always going to be there. But when you can't turn to your parent, you can't turn to anyone. If you can't turn to your parent, it's just like not being able to go to God. Simple as that. If you have an issue and you can't talk to your mom or your dad about it, there's a problem between the two of you that needs to be settled. For me, I don't know if or when that's ever going to happen. But I will tell you this. If I'm blessed enough to solve the problem, then I will. 
And if I'm not blessed enough, then like it was told to me 10 minutes ago, I'll carry it to my grave. But since I'm not going to have a grave, that's not going to be an issue because I'm fucking being cremated. Therefore, I'm James Williams. You just come for number two, B, C, and U. I'm going to make one more video, and then I'm going to call it until I get home from work today. And then I'm going to slap up all kinds of different topics depending on what I get to do when I go to work. And if I write down my topics and remember what the hell I was thinking about while I was there. So I will find things to talk about and write down, even if i got to write them on my arm. But I'm going to do it, and I will see you guys after the next video. It will be the last video. This is Comfort Havoc number two. B, C, and U.